The Montgomery County Coroner's Office spent today giving parents some peace of mind. They x-rayed Halloween candy that the kids collected last night while trick-or-treating. First at four, 2 News reporter Devro Bogart shows us why some parents were concerned this year. Dr. Kent Harshberger says at first they weren't getting many calls from concerned parents, but after two razor blades were found in candy in Colerain Township, that quickly changed this morning. Shirley Collins was the first in line this morning to get her kids candy x-rayed, coming all the way from New Carlisle, needing that sigh of relief. My son's 28 years old, and when he was like six or seven, we were going trick-or-treating, and he, we found a razor blade in one of his apples. Now I have a six-year-old. So I want him protected in all ways. Saying it's so comforting knowing that her kid can now pick any piece of candy from their bucket and know they're safe. It really upsets me that people will jeopardize a child. Dr. Kent Harshberger says during his time, his office has never had a case of tampered candy, but it does happen. Case in point, Colerain Township, where two different families say they found razor blades in their kids' candy from trick-or-treating last night. It is a very low risk. I don't think it's very common to have it, um, but it is a real risk. And so if you have a concern, again, check the packaging, individually wrapped. Homemade things are, are, unless you know where they came from, is different. He says about 20 parents made appointments, but anticipates many more walk-ins after that incident in Hamilton County. This crime lab technology is normally reserved for law enforcement as this is the first year they're offering it as a public service. Assuring parents the whole process only takes about 10 minutes and is completely safe. The candy will not be affected at all by the x-ray. Obviously longer term dosing, but it won't affect uh, candy in any, in any meaningful way. Harshberger says they plan to continue this program in the future, and he says depending on how successful it is, they could think about adding more x-ray machines or more days that they scan the candy. Reporting in Montgomery County, Devereaux Bogart, 2 News, working for you.